Hey guys, so it is 2.30 a.m. on Monday. The tournament's over, I'm lying in bed, I am exhausted. Here's my hotel room. It's not bad, it's a good room. Um, I just cannot wait to go to bed. I gotta get on an airplane in like five or six hours. And, uh... I'm tired, so you probably want to know what happened in the last round. So if you remember, I went into the last round with four and a half points. Um, there were two guys ahead of me who had perfect five points out of five games. So they were playing on the board next to me, and there were a bunch of people with four points, but no one else had four and a half. So <clears throat> I knew that if I won, I would either get tie for first if the other guys drew, or I would get clear second if one of them won and the other lost. So um, their game progressed, and like pretty quickly it was obvious that that one side was going to win. So I had to win because five points was going to you know not be enough for me. Uh, it was going to share a prize with a ton of people who had five points, maybe five or six other people. So we get started, and we're I'm, I'm playing the perk. I'm feeling good, and I win a pawn. And then discover that he forked me to win the exchange. And, you know, I'll show you this game. I'm going to post it on the, on the site. Um, but he, he forked me with the bishop, he, he, uh, my knight and my rook. And just out of sickness, I was just sick to my stomach. And I just retreated my knight and lost the exchange. And then realized that I could have just protected my knight with the rook. But I was so mentally devastated. I, I was not feeling well. I was tired. And I had missed the move, and I didn't see it. Um, anyway, further testament to the fact that I really need to work on calculation and board visualization. Anyway, sorry I'm rambling. Long story short, just like every other game I played, um, I swindled it and won in the end. Uh, I played hard, I set up positions, and then I had some crazy calculations in the end game, and just created chances, and then... Uh, had a devastating blow, a tactical blow that was kind of tough to see. Um, anyway, uh, I need to apologize to every single one of my opponents because there was not one game that I won. That's not true. I won only one game. One game that wasn't kind of a swindle. It wasn't kind of a, you know, I should have lost every game. Except I just, I don't know what it is. I, I, I lose and then everything becomes clear. Like I have to defend. And I know what to do, and then I just create complications. Even though I'm not good tactically, I just can see ideas and then create them. And then, um, you know, I had to play like a madman, and, and uh, I created crazy chances, and, you know, neither drew or won every game. Um, so not, not how I'd like to do it. I'd rather just blow people off the board, but uh, apparently that's not in the cards for me this time. Anyway, I had a great tournament. It was really well put together. I really enjoyed it. Um... I'm exhausted, so I'm going to sign off here and say I was happy to win a clear second in the under 1600 of the National Open here in Las Vegas in 2009, and uh, I hope to have a uh, another great tournament maybe next year here, so thanks for caring. Bye.